Oh yeah, the hippo against the summons. Very satisfying. Team full strike. Wait a minute, this is not a hippo video. Hey! Oh no, Rhino. This video is about Rhino. Rhino is usually the most peaceful pet, but sometimes it can be angry, really angry, especially when you run a summon team. This weekly pack has a lot of summons, so we had to try the Rhino to get the satisfying Rhino chain. Now, yes, level 2 penguin, and yes, now I will shift to the huge mighty Rhino, because the bison wasn't uh, scaling. Uh, like, I don't know when I will get the level 3. Yes, that's good scaling for us. 69 on the Rhino. Will the 69 work? And it worked, but didn't quite. Okay, we snag a win there. Now, now, now. Man, tools and get this, and yes, poodle. Poodle is very good in this game. Another poodle level to poodle, maybe the next turn. And moose, I was a bit confused on the moose at this point because I wanted to level up the rhino and the bat, but the uh, but the moose would keep unfreezing my stuff so I thought I'd rather just not take it if, if the rhino was just a bit large it would have caused a chain reaction but time will come time will come yes perfect level 3 bat and level 3 sorry level 2 poodle nope okay a level 2 2 dragonfly and a level 2 poodle yes i i think this was good because we need scaling at this point for now rather than the weakness but weakness would have been good an extra weakness on some pet but okay and nope another useless <laughs> time no turn but we have won it will get good guys, believe me, it will get good. And if you are keeping a, what do you call this capsicum, what is this green pepper, yes the green pepper, if you are keeping the green pepper, keep it on the first unit, don't keep on the second unit because uh, people are usually running the uh, deer and the deer causes you to lose it. As you will notice in the further games, you see the deer in the front would have had, uh, and we would have had lost our. And yes, this is the round. Doop, doop, doop. Perfect. Another doop, doop. Yes, it's so satisfying to see that I know do that. Now um, the melon, sorry, the lemon for the rhino and a level 2 rhino. I was going for level 2 rhino. Again, I was tempted by the moose, but I didn't. And I think now at round 8 or something, I will shift to the leopard because uh, I'm seeing a lot of summon units. And as you will see, we will lose this round because of the summonings. If we had sniped uh, the wolf early on, then we might have had uh, less to deal with. Level 2 Rhino and yes, I will just stack them up. Just not thinking what was going on. I shouldn't have had done that. But it just worked out fine. Yes, uh, four squad doesn't work, my boy. Three of them get 
poisoned by our weakness sorry get weakness by our uh, bat and yes again now i was thinking of getting a leopard in and yes we do get three leopards and now i will do the unthinkable yes i sold the dragonfly i should have had sold the i mean the penguin first but in the later game i am also selling the penguin but it's okay i guess <laughs> and yes this turn we get really good hits uh, by the bat and yes the rhino isn't popping off but it is doing its thing we could use a pineapple on it yes at this turn i sold the penguin for the white tiger thinking that it would work with the leopard but it doesn't work so i sold it back because it has lower attack than the leopard so the leopard shoots first and then the trigger of the white tiger will happen and now at this point i was like what should i buy and i see the hyena i have never ever used hyena in my life i really really never used hyena and this is my first time so i thought let's just do it it doesn't really affect our uh, like attack and health maybe opponent's health we'll make a change and it did a little bit i think so i mean a little little bit as you can see this hippo rhino survived at the last against the kangaroo but it wasn't much yep i also got the level 3 badge on the bat and as always thank you for watching see you next time